Where's that hecking on button? Ooh, I found it! Let's play! Hello, it's Loki here again with another video. And this time we're opening another Pokemon Trading Card Game 10. Oh, it's Mew and a Psyduck. And he's got a little headache. Oh no, poor Psyduck. So, we know what's in these tins. We've opened a Squirtle Turtle one before. You can remember the one. It looked, well, I ran everything everywhere. It looked a bit, a bit like that. Now we're going to open one which looks a little bit like that. Exactly like this, in fact. So, let's get right on into it. Yeah! Heck! Can't even open the hecking thing. There we go. So, Ancient Origins 1. There we go. XY Ancient Origins, uh, Origins and a Sun and Moon Crimson Invasion booster pack. We got a nice little card here with Mew and Psyduck on it. And a little thing about Mew. So it's a new species Pokemon. Mew is said to possess a genetic composition of all Pokemon. It is capable of making itself invisible at will. So it entirely avoids notice even if it approaches people. Wow. So apparently you can collect all five art cards and merge them to form one big picture. So if I'm looking at that, I can't find the one which on there with Squirtle and Magikarp on it. Boo! That's because it's part of a completely different set. So um, yeah, we'll see if we can collect some more over time. But sure, we've got. Another coin which looks almost exactly like the coin that I got from the Squirtle Turtle one, I believe. That's because it is, in fact, the same coin. Yay. Two are the same. Love it. No arguments, and want to give them out as gifts. Um, there we go. So. Ancient Origins. Let's open this one, shall we? Do, 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 do. Ah, there we go. Starting off with Oddish. And its first move is Trip Over. Oh, bless it. There we go. So, it doesn't trip over, it does random gravity checks. That's what it should be called. Um, Vespiquem. That's like a big wasp or a bee. There we go. So, put that in there. Ah, uh, we've got Lucky Helmet. I wonder what this does. Whether this, whenever the Pokemon this card attached to is your active Pokemon and is damaged by an opponent's attack, even if that Pokemon is knocked out, draw two cards. Okay. Oh, draw two cards. Um, Coralia. So that one of our so Routus. Really nice one. One of my favourite Pokemon is a Gardevoir. So um, that one will be helpful in getting that full set, won't it? And... Oh, oh, oh. Okay, this card on its own makes this entire tin worth it. I've always wanted this card. It's one of my favourite Pokemon of all time. Out of all the legendaries. <laughs> I'm excited. Heat Tackle. Wow. So it said when it nears, a volcano erupts somewhere around the globe. Ooh. When it roars, sorry. Whoops. Um, so, um, MT better not roar often. Um, <laughs> really nice card. Oh, I don't know if any of the rest of the cards can top this. Porygon, nice foil one, lots of stars ever all over the place. Ooh, Ooh. Relicanth, deep sea Pokemon, nice little fish there. We've got, it looks kind of weird though, don't you think? A little bit weird, I mean, doesn't even have any eyes. I don't think. 
Let's say that's it, that little red dot there. I don't know. Another Porygon. But this one's not foil. So we've got two of the same card. But this one's got shiny stars on it. <laughs> um, we got a Golurk. Which falls to a Gollet. Um, yeah, I'll get you this from the Sun and Moon again. I'm not sure, this is the first time I've heard of this Pokemon, so let's read what it's about. It flies across the sky at max speeds. Removing the seal on its chest makes its internal energy go out of control. Oh, don't want to remove that plate on its chest. No. Oh. And an Inkay. I don't know what this one is either, but it's dark and I'm guessing it's an ink. So it's revolving Pokemon, so I'm guessing it spins around and it's spraying ink everywhere. So it flashes light emitting spots on its body, which drains its opponent which drains its opponent will to fight. It takes the opportunity to scuttle away and hide. Nice, nice, it's very defensive sort of thing. Okay, that's pretty cool. So now let's open these sun and moon ones. I wonder if it's going to have a better Pokemon than the Entei in it. Uh, I, I'm sorry, I'm just so happy with the Entei. There we go. So let's get rid of that thing. Don't need it. We've got Psychic Memory. It's a Valley GX. This card is attached to a Psychic Pokemon. Okay. Makes no sense, but sure. Uh, a Fala Swine. There we go. That evolves from a swine up. Pretty cool. Fala Swine. I'll take that. That's pretty neat. Devoured Field. There's lots of those around here because we I live in the middle of nowhere where there's loads of farms and cattle. So uh, the attacks of those Pokemon and those Pokemon, both yours and your opponents, do 10 more damage to the opponent's active Pokemon. Okay, so that's the stadium trainer card then. I like that. Devoured field. Ah, another energy card. Comfort. So continuous headbutt. Ouch. Don't want to mess with this guy. <laughs> it evolves from a normal. It's got two big rock sized humps on its back. Really, really don't want to mess with that one. What we got for this one? Our Star Raptor. Look how shiny it is with all the stars. Oh, sky hunting. That looks like a brutal move. Really nice little card there. Starly and Star Avia. You will need one of those though. Salandit. I've not heard of this one either. Um, Singe. Your, po your opponent's active Pokemon is now burned. That's its attack. And this thing isn't focusing. There we go, that's better. So, it burns its bodily fluids to create poisonous gas. When its enemies become disorientated from inhaling the gas, it attacks them. Nice! Sounds very friendly, doesn't it? Ooh, imagine coming across one of them in the street. A Feebas! A Feebas! Look how it looks terrified! This looks doing that. Oh! But I'm not surprised. This looks just come across the shipwreck. So, um, yeah. Poor feet bass. Cubone. There we go. Wearing its nice little hat. Be nice if the camera would focus for a second. Come on, focus. There we go. That's how it's done. And next up, we've got a Shellos. So these could come in different colours, as you can see. We've got a pink one and a blue one there. Pretty neat. I like those Shellos. They're a pain in my ass when it comes to Pokemon Go, though. They're everywhere these days. And we've got a Bunnelby. I'm guessing this is Sun and Moon version of Baneri, I guess. Um, come on. Come on. Mud shots, there we go. And they use their large ears to dig burrows. They will dig the whole night through. Good for them, very productive. 
So overall, I just can't get over. I got finally got myself one of these. Ah, just so happy. Look at shiny and look at the artwork. Ah, yes. So. If you did like this video, do leave a like, comment and subscribe. If not, those things are perfectly fine. That could just disappear, much like in clay can disappear when it runs away. And we shall see you next time. Hope you have a wonderful evening or day, whatever time you're watching it, you know. And see you next time. Ooh, bop. Ha <laughs> ha. I did your bop instead of a boop. Ha <laughs> ha. Bye.